the qualities that you look for in a vintage bag come down to rarity and condition. There are three models in particular that stand out as the most collectible. The Birkin, the Kelly, and the Constance are known as the holy trinity of handbags at auction. Hermes was founded in 1837 by Terry Hermes as a harness workshop. Then, in the early 1900s, when the automobile was invented, Hermes began producing new products in order to maintain relevance. The Sac de Pêche bag was designed so that it would fit inside the door of a car. In 1954, on the set of the Alfred Hitchcock movie To Catch a Thief, Grace Kelly was given a Sac de Pêche bag by the costume designer Edith Head. Grace Kelly fell in love with this bag and took it home with her. Two years later, in 1956, she used the Sac de Pêche bag to shield her baby bump from the paparazzi, and this image made it to the cover of Life magazine. In one of the first instances of viral marketing, thousands of people went to Hermes asking for that Kelly bag, and thus Hermes renamed the bag in her honor, the Kelly bag. What's remarkable about the Kelly bag is it's made in the same atelier as the Hermes saddles. They're created by hand using the double needle saddle stitch. This stitch cannot be replicated by machine, and if done correctly, will never unravel. The tale of the invention of the Birkin is also steeped in handbag legend. As the story goes, in 1983, Jane Birkin, the British ingenue, was on an Air France flight from Paris to London. She had her iconic straw tote bag and was shoving it into the overhead compartment when everything fell out onto the floor. Her seatmate asked her, my dear, why don't you have a bag with pockets? And she demurred, I will when Hermes makes me one. His response, I'm Jean-Louis Dumas, the CEO of Hermes, and I'll make you one. The two of them sat together and sketched the Birkin on an air sickness bag. Because of its iconic design and unbeatable craftsmanship, it has maintained popularity as the ultimate it bag ever since it was introduced. The third most collectible bag is called the Constance. The Constance bag was designed in 1959 by Hermes designer Catherine Chalet, and the story goes that the first Constance left the factory the same day that her fifth daughter was born, Constance. What I love about Hermes bags is the reference to craft. Each Hermes bag is created in an atelier by a craftsman. If the bag were to become damaged, it would go back to the original craftsman that created the bag. The handle of the Kelly bag is actually created over the leg of a craftsman with pieces of leather layered and then stitched around. So it's a nice personal touch to realize how intimate this relationship the craftsman has with the piece that he's creating. Vintage pieces were most often created in black and leather. So when you find a vintage bag in an unusual material or in a bright color, it's particularly desirable. If you take care of a vintage bag, it will be worth the same, if not more, on the secondary market in the years to come. The Hermes Kelly bags that are coming out of Hermes today are virtually indistinguishable from those that were being created in the 1930s. They've inspired a century of fashion products.